Hi guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm gonna to be sharing a recipe that's sure to take away your pizza cravings, so stay tuned. If you're enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell button. So today's recipe, I am gonna be making cheesy cauliflower breadsticks. This is a really great recipe because as you all know, I love pizza, but this is cheesy breadsticks. So this is really gonna satisfy that craving for carbs and cheese. Sometimes we have that, right? I really love this recipe. It's also vegetarian. So any of you vegetarians out there, this is gonna be the recipe for you. So I have everything laid out for you that is in this recipe. We are going to be using one cup raw cauliflower, fourth cup liquid egg substitute, one cup shredded reduced fat mozzarella cheese, one eighth teaspoon garlic salt, one fourth teaspoon dried basil, and one fourth teaspoon dried oregano. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together. We are using one cup of cauliflower. So I have my cauliflower already riced. Okay, one cup going in. Now we're using a fourth cup of the egg substitute. I have measured out one cup of mozzarella cheese, but we are only using three fourth cup right now going in. That's about right. So now I'm going to mix everything up. So I just wanna make sure that everything is coated, that the eggs are all mixed in, kind of combining everything, it should be coated. Okay, so now I have a loaf pan, parchment paper, and cooking spray. I'm going to line this with parchment paper so it's easy to take out, and then we're gonna spray it and put the cauliflower mixture in. Just gonna press it in. Now I'm gonna spray it. Now I'm just gonna spread the mixture out and make sure that it's all covered the bottom of the pan. Okay, as you can see, I'm kind of packing it in. I want it to stay put together and not kind of crumble out. So I'm just pressing and spreading. Okay, I have the cauliflower evenly spread out. It's a good thickness all around, and now we are just gonna bake it. So we are baking this at 350 for 30 minutes. This recipe is really easy to put together. You all know I love easy. The only thing that takes a long time is actually the cooking time. Okay, so in the oven it goes. Hey Siri. Yes? Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. Okay, 30 minutes is up, so we are gonna take out our breadsticks. Okay, so now we have to crank up the heat to 450. Okay, all I'm gonna do now is transfer the parchment paper and the cauliflower crust to a baking sheet, that's it. Doesn't this look great already? It's turned a nice golden brown, and now it's just gonna go back into the oven for 15 minutes to cook. So remember, this isn't a really hard recipe to make. It does take a long time, so depending on when you have to eat your lean and green meal, you know, kind of plan ahead. Give yourself enough cooking time so that you're eating on time. Okay, so 15 minutes going back into the oven. You know, I'm actually gonna do 12 minutes instead because my oven does cook fast. So you know your oven, kind of think of that too. We don't wanna have burnt breadsticks. Nobody wants that. Hey Siri. I'm here. Set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. Perfect. Okay, timer's done. Now it's time to take it out again. Okay, so now what we are going to do is let this cool and then we're going to cut it into strips. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on the cheese and our seasonings and then bake it one last time for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's cool enough to touch and now I'm just gonna slice up the cauliflower breadsticks. Okay, so this is looking so good. I can't wait to eat this. If you love carbs and cheese, this is definitely the lean and green for you. And honestly, who doesn't like bread and cheese? Come on. Okay, so I'm putting the breadsticks back on. So this is the leftover cheese I didn't use in the recipe to begin with, and now we are going to just put the spices in. 
Okay, so one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder's going in, a fourth teaspoon of dried oregano, fourth of basil. I have it mixed up, and now I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top of the cauliflower. All right, guys, this is the home stretch. I told you this takes a long time to cook. This is the last part of it. So it should go in the oven for 450 for 10 minutes, but because my oven works so well, I'm, I'm probably gonna do six and see where I'm at, maybe seven. So I'm gonna just put it in the oven. This is the last part, I promise you. We're about to eat cheesy breadsticks, guys. Hey Siri, set a timer for six minutes. Okay, six minutes okay. and counting. Six minutes and counting. Here we go. It's done, guys. Let's take it out. Okay, so this is cheesy breadsticks. This is a full lean and green and 2.25 condiments for this lean and green recipe. I can't wait to eat this. I love pizza. I love bread. I love carbs. I love cheese. This is going to take care of my craving for that. And guess what? No guilt is gonna be involved in this. There is no carbs in this. This is eating healthy. This is how I lost my weight. This is how I maintain my weight loss as well. Okay, so let's plate this. Ooh, look at this guys. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Oh, I'm so happy you have no idea. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just had to go and pull this out of my pantry because if you did want to dip your breadsticks in marinara sauce, you could totally do that. And this stuff is great and program approved. One fourth cup is what you could use to go towards your green. So this is something that I can make for my boys and totally get away with doing this too. They won't even know that it's really cauliflower. It's so it's tricking my boys. My nine-year-old Mason is begging for a breadstick. I don't know if I'm gonna share with him yet because I really don't share my food, but you know, he is my favorite after all, so I might give him a bite. Anyways, so I think I'll go ahead and just take a bite. Guys, that is so good. If you do meatless Mondays, are vegetarian, maybe just don't wanna have meat one night, this is definitely a lean and green that you need to try. Wow, that is so delicious. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I love making these videos for you guys. I love showing you what's possible and getting creative in the kitchen. So stay healthy with me, make this recipe, let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. I called Mason over to share with him. Don't tell the others. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Told you. Kids are gonna love it.